Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will mark their marriage with a public kiss, before they head out to meet excited royal wedding watches, and a royal expert has revealed where it is likely to happen. Like Prince William and Kate before them, the romantic gesture is sure to be one of the defining images, of their momentous wedding day. Thousands of royal fans are set to flock to Windsor, on May 19, after Kensington Palace revealed the newlyweds will embark, on a procession around the royal city after the televised ceremony. However palace officials have remained tight-lipped, over details surrounding the couple's much-anticipated first kiss. But royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said, the significant and historic moment will take place, on the steps of St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. He said, it is the moment which the media need on an occasion as significant, and historic as this and I am sure there will be a kiss, after the service on the steps of St George's Chapel, before the carriage procession begins. Harry and Meghan will arrange this their way, but they know how eagerly this will be anticipated, and I think there is certain to be a kiss for the cameras to reach the vast global audience, who will be watching and waiting. The embrace will be the first time Harry, and the former US actress have kissed in public, after the prince was snapped secretly stealing a smooch from his then-girlfriend, at the closing ceremony of his Invictus Games. The couple are known for their public displays of affection, and are often photographed holding hands, including on official visits. When Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer married, on July 29, 1981, their kiss on Buckingham Palace balcony became one of the most enduring images, in royal history and the first of its kind. This was mirrored by their son Prince William who affectionately kissed his giggling wife, Kate, as thousands of well-wishers cheered beneath the famous balcony. Mr Fitzwilliams said, Charles and Diana's kiss on the balcony at Buckingham Palace, after their wedding in St Paul's was the first of its type. It has been a popular feature of high-profile royal weddings such as Andrews to Sarah Ferguson, and Williams to Kate Middleton. William and Kate kissed twice to the crowd's delight. In 1999, after a difficult decade for the monarchy, Edward and Sophie, who married in St George's Chapel, did not kiss for the cameras as theirs was a relatively low-profile wedding. Die-hard royal fans will be able to catch a glimpse of the newlyweds, as they embark on a carriage procession along a route through the streets, of the royal city. Beginning at 1 p.m., the route will include Castle Hill, High Street, Sheet Street, King's Road, Albert Road, Long Walk and finally Windsor Castle. The service is expected to be televised as the Right Reverend David Connor, Dean of Windsor, conducts the service at the castle's 15th century chapel and the Archbishop of Canterbury officiates as the couple make their vows.